politics. Well, I would say you ain't lying there, Asia. So wait, all right, let me let me drill down. So okay. So politics, what does that mean exactly? We don't he could be a Republican, I could be a Democrat or vice versa, whatever. Like we could we we could have differing mm-hmm. political views and that is not necessarily a deal breaker for me because I actually value um you know different ways of thinking and whatnot but so that wouldn't be a deal breaker for me as long as you're not like part of the neo-nazis <laughs> you know what i'm saying hmm. yeah I, I, could, I would definitely compromise on politics okay so he can be he can have um adverse opinions like he can be pro-life yes um you know just some of the more things that are real real staunch that's his opinion absolutely how does that how does that household function in what way like how does it function like what if he's not for the whole pr- gay pride stuff and all like how does this how does this how does this flow like for instance remember well, you said you go ahead i was like gay i don't care about, i mean gay i'm not gay so him well, remember not, you I, said you have a bunch of gay male friends right okay mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. a lot of men i mean that you know that's there's a there's a there's a there's a cap to that okay so like what i'm saying is there's going to be several things in terms of politics that still come to a head it's not going to just be opinions it comes to fruition especially you have kids and things of that nature so how real is it actually so how real is it actually with me because we aren't having any kids together and okay. our kids so uh, you're asking me like in real life so we're not having kids together. So we don't have to worry about raising <laughs> kids together and having to worry about, you know, politics and whatnot and pro-life and pro-choice. We don't have to worry about that. Now I'll talk about we talk about the gay pride thing. That's more relevant because I have gay male friends and gay people. So you wait, what question? So you only date men with kids then? No, I don't only date men with Would kids. Would it be a deal breaker if he doesn't have kids then? No, I actually prefer that crap. But but he would want to have a kid. He might not. Not all men want kids. We already had this discussion a long time ago. Not majority of men want kids. So he's he, he he. Let's say, right? Because the majority want to have kids. He wants to have a kid. Is that a deal breaker? You wouldn't compromise um, for, for he and I. If he wants to have a kid, no, I compromise on that. That's actually a good question, Ham. So I would compromise on that um, because really, if we were to, if we were to adopt, I call Cat. Sure. Adopt. Come on, man. If we were to adopt, the fuck get him out of here. Come on. Yeah, he she, just, she just told me a couple of days ago she, I would be the laughing stock if I had a kid at 43 years old. <laughs> <laughs> I say you walk around with a big old belly and a baby in your big old belly at 43. Yes, you'll be the laughing stock. Now, if we were to come together, <laughs> hold on, hold on. Come together and decide yeah. to adopt, and again, this is my man because I'm compromising. I may have that. <laughs> Shut up, Hamp. I mean, yeah, you gotta chill. Man. She gotta chill, Hamp. I right. said I was gonna compromise too. She said, "Will you be the laughing stock sitting right here, 43 years old with a belly?" Yo, on, man. Yo. Gary Grant with the two dollars super chat. Mr. Grant was popping. Big up panel. All right, Dana. Add a hundred fifty thousand per year. That's not, that's not a game. That's not a lot of money. That's not a, enough to make a difference. Next, it's, good, it's a good amount of money though. <laughs> it's good. It's not. It's not enough to to compensate for his ass being five seven. Jesus Christ! Wow, Mister Grant, I appreciate you. <laughs> Forgot the diaper fund. Have a good night, all peace, yo. Appreciate you, Mister Grant. Be safe. You heard? Old ass. We got one more. Mr. Britt with the two dollar super chat. Mr. Britt was popping. Politics don't have to align, but culturally, yes. Hmm. All right, love. What was you lying? I mean, what was you saying? <laughs> it's not a lie. I'm serious. Like, so this is the compromise piece because of course I don't want to have kids at this age in my life. However, if my man and I decide, my husband and I decided he wants to have a kid, he's having we can adopt. Yes, we we would have that discussion about adoption. We would have the discussion. I'm looking at her. Can you see me looking at you? We will have. He want a legacy. He want his bloodline. Like Beyonce said, bloodline. That's what he Well, he he would have to compromise then because, ma'am, let's not not do this on live television. (laughs) 
Just saying, though. I think I don't think we really compromising, man. I don't know. I don't think y'all got it in.